Hey everyone and welcome back to Humankind. So I made a video the other day reflecting on some of the things that I thought needed improvement in Humankind and many of you commented about this system here, the faith system, religion and humankind. I argue that the religious system and the faith system is actually kind of a good one, but there are some more things we could do to it to really improve it. I argue it's not a bad system inherently here, but rather basic. In this video, I'm going to take you through a little bit about how it works, just so we're on the same page. I won't dwell on it for too long, because like I say, it is a fairly basic system, but there's just a couple of terms and phrases that we need to get across, and some uh, a couple of gameplay features too. But then more importantly, I'd like to reflect on actually how could we perhaps make this better? What could we improve upon? But what does it do well? Because actually it does some things well. So for starters, when your empire reaches a total population of 10 across your units, cities and outposts, you're prompted in humankind to found a religion. And really simply put, all you're doing here is choosing your first bonus, right? Do you want plus one faith per population, which will immediately give you 10 on the first turn you're producing, or plus five faith per territories? I'm going to go for population, tends to be better. There, that's your faith founded. Once it's unlocked, you can head down to the bottom left here and you can see the faith overview. For those of you who haven't seen my video on society and influence, I would recommend you go and check it out. But basically, religious spread works in a very similar way. You can see here that my territory is being converted to Olmec's shamanism. That's my religion. But if I hit this little name icon here, I can actually rename that. So we're just going to call it um, religion of Jumbo, just to, so we're really clear on what we're dealing with here. So you can see that at the very early on, you can, you've got your one tenant, you've got where your religion is, you can see how quickly it's going to spread to other territories and what religious pressure is being exerted on the territories. In a nutshell, and I'll show you later in the video how it looks when there are more religions at play, but I think it's useful just to start by looking at this very basic level. And in a nutshell, you can see that essentially it is a system built off pressure. Okay, so you will build buildings, particularly holy sites, but also wonders and upgrade certain civics as well, right? Within the civics tree, if we open it up, you can see there is indeed an entire branch dedicated to uh, faithful endeavors down the bottom here. And so you can unlock certain civics to increase your faith uh, as well. I'll show you those later in the video too. But all in all, you produce your faith and then territories that are producing more faith than others will slowly exert their pressure. It is, of course, worth noting, though, that it's not quite just as simple as my faith number, let's say, in this city, is higher than your faith number over here. There's a little bit more to it than that. Uh, it's not just faith produced within a city, but also more broadly as a wider territory, because some of the bonuses do apply to number of territories that are producing faith. But more importantly, also, it's the number of followers, those within a city who are following the religion. Uh, let's skip ahead now and look at what a more formed religion might look like. So I can show you a bit more about the tenants, about how it spreads. And then let's talk about maybe some ways that the religious system could build upon its really solid foundation to really expand its reach outward in humankind, perhaps in future DLCs or patches. And so, through the magic of television, or YouTube as it were, I've skipped ahead into a slightly different game here. You can see I've got Jumboism, my religion, I'm playing as the Babylonians, but my neighbour here has their own religion. Now the screen becomes a little bit more detailed. You can actually track the number of followers you have, right? So down the bottom here you can see I have 10 out of the 25 followers required to advance to the next tier of tenants. The Faith in Humankind has four religious tenant tiers to move through, starting at a very basic one and moving your way up to some more advanced and powerful tenants. Now, across the board, these tenants tend to affect each individual yield in the game. You can see here there's one for money, additional money from luxury resources and another holy site to build. This one here provides science from strategic resources. This one here, a flat stability bonus to rivers. So they do sort of interact with the map in a little bit to try and create a sort of opportunity cost, right? Do I want to buff my rivers or would I prefer to buff my strategic resources? The downside tends to be that some of them are just flat better than others in many cases. And really the actual trade-off mechanic isn't quite there because as you jump through the next tier, you can just grab something to, to sort of replace that uh, trade-off that you made in an earlier tier. So the tiered system, I would say, definitely needs 
a little bit of work. I want to really pay a price for the things that I'm choosing, and I'd like them to be a little bit more unique. But back out here at the religious screen, we can see how we track our followers and when we can upgrade those tenants. They upgrade at uh, 25, 65, 125, and then finally 165 followers. That is the max follower cap. How do we earn that? Well, if you jump into one of your cities, of course, the best way to increase your faith output is either through your civics, right? Through enacting those certain civics. Here's communal rights, which is the first religious one. You can see it shifts the social axes as well, moving towards certain things. It unlocks certain religious actions, and as you go through, you can buff faith on territories, get other things from your faith as well. Uh, one of the other really great ways to do that with faith and humankind, and something that we might overlook, is the intersection between faith and wonders. Indeed, the wonders act really similarly, right, to these shared project holy sites. A holy site, for example, gives 20 faith uh, and 20 stability. You can pop it down within one of your territories, almost anywhere normally, right? So I can plot this one down, let's just say here. And then because it's a shared project, I can get my other cities into building it. And that will increase the faith output in this territory, which will then, as I go into the faith screen, increase the faith pressure shifting across into others. You can see this territory used to belong to their faith, but now really heavily under my influence because I've connected this territory to my empire. And now that it's connected to the capital, my influence can spread a lot easier. Indeed, there are really two other main ways that faith spreads that you might not know about, and it's largely through the diplomatic functions with other empires, right? These treaties. So if you have uh, more trade, for example, then you will spread your faith and cultural influence easier. Likewise, down here at the border policy, if you have open borders, your faith and influence will spread easier, but so will theirs. So do take care when you're connecting your empires in that way, because you will spread faith across. And if you're not producing enough faith, then theirs may overtake you. In that case, what happens? Well, you become a follower of their religion. And indeed, if your religion is entirely swallowed up, yours can disappear altogether. And your faith can be, your state religion of your faith can be an entirely different one. And then you're at the whim of whatever they want to do and however they want to build their religion. So it is worthwhile holding a religion in humankind. But aside from the somewhat fluid, but let's be honest, very passive approach to spreading religion in the game like this through territories, and it is passive, other than controlling faith output through those wonders, or through those holy sites, and again, you know, through those other couple of ways to do it, there isn't really a huge way to impact how it spreads, apart from those minor uh, penalties or bonuses, as I say, for when you enact certain uh, faith policies and certain civics. How do I think this could change? And I think we actually should probably take a step back and look at this screen, the era screen, right? Because we have to remember that this is what humankind is about. It's about this journey here. Here I am, starting off in the Neolithic era. My avatar represents me, but I change cultures each time. You can see on the left-hand side of the screen, my avatar is changing to adapt. Nah, my avatar is a Celt. If I jump back, I was Babylonian. Before that, I was nomadic. Indeed, the idea behind story kind is a uh, story kind the idea behind humankind is to tell a story not specifically relate to one leader and if we apply that logic then perhaps it doesn't it actually does make sense that when we go into a city like this we don't have faith units to build we don't have individual little units to maintain for faith Faith spreads naturally because, I think, in, in humankind's design mantra and the design logic, it's not about this. It's not about grabbing a unit and moving it about the map to spread faith. It's actually about you being an overall leader of a civilization across cultures and across time. And I think that it makes sense that faith is spread this way in more of a hands-off approach, right? It's more passive. It makes sense that this almighty avatar and representative figurehead for a civilization isn't micromanaging it. However, the flip side to that is also extreme. Faith becomes a little basic, right? A little bit 
perhaps missing an element. Sure, I can come in here like this and I can select my Stonehenge, right? I can select my wonders. I can put them down. In future, I can claim other wonders, right? I can open up this claim screen and grab more and work on my faith output. Maybe I upgrade it through here, through the civics tree, get certain faith policies enacted. Now I have extra faith actions, right? Or I can reduce my cost and then build more and get faith. And that's all fine and good. But the question is, is it missing something? And is the thing that it's missing a more manual control? Or could we do it differently? One other idea I had was that faith could still be managed at this level, right? At this very zoomed out sort of managing my societal structures over here on the left, managing these different things in the faith view here. What if there was just an extra box here above religion and it was called leader of the faith? And within that, you could select certain things that the leader of your faith could do, i.e. you could ask leader of the faith to prioritize focusing faith spread on a certain territory. You could prioritize focusing on spreading faith within your territories. It would be a really simple sort of action selection menu, unlike many things that we have in humankind, maybe most similar to this, the cities and outposts screen, it could look exactly like this. It could have leader of the faith and then a drop down menu with a few different options. Think maybe like spies in civilization, right? It could work like that. There could be a way to keep faith hands off, away from the nitty gritty detail of the map and micromanaging little units and spreading them all across and, and having yet another click war within the game, but instead keep it at the zoomed out level. I'd really be keen to know your thoughts. What do you think of Faith in Humankind? Do you agree with my observation that it's not bad or flawed, but just a bit basic? And do you think that my intervention at this higher level with a leader of the faith mechanic could work? Or do we need to delve in right down into the city level and have units like this to build, prioritize, and spread around the map to spread our faith this way? Do let me know what you think, or maybe even a third option in the comments below. And until next time, everybody, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.